President and to all of our U of A Fort Smith students um, for giving me some of your time. If you don't eat your chocolate chip cookies, I'll take them with me. Uh, but um, earlier this morning, we really honed in on the importance of remembering 9-11 by preserving history, hence our t-shirts today, the aftermath September the 12th, um, when you think back to how many families woke up on September the 12th watching last night's tribute, um, and just thinking back to how many families were still looking for family members um, just a short 24 hours later after the dust had settled, um, really brought things home for what we're going to experience today in this interactive workshop. Um, I want it to be as open in communication and questions as possible, um, but what we're going to do is go through an interactive workshop and we're going to offer you a chance to participate in what we call a healing heart reflective activity. Um, we choose the arts because where I'm from and what we do um, with our scholarship foundation, uh, we have a group and a subset of students that aren't necessarily always exposed to the arts, um, may not ever get a chance to inherit the arts, and we've found that in exposing these young people to the, um, to the arts, that it's broadening their expansion for education, it's broadening their expansion in meaning for the reasons why they want to get involved, and hopefully today in our project, it'll broaden your experiences to be able to reflect back in your own personal ways. Um, forgive me once again your name. Katie. Katie. I thought Katie was in the fourth grade um, in 2001, and she just kind of corrected me. So um, for those in, in age ranges from large to small, um, thinking about the dynamics of how many people, how many lives, how many students, how many mothers, daughters, sons, brothers were impacted by that day, by that horrific moment. Hopefully this workshop will give you some meat and substance for that. Um, a little bit about me, I don't know if you know it or not. Um, I'm from North Little Rock, Arkansas. I am the overseer of a nonprofit organization that focuses on providing monetary assistance, workshops, and programs of meaningful impact to minority students from single parent households primarily, but not exempt from any other students that want to come and participate and have some fun on a Saturday. Um, we offer everything from financial literacy programs, oral health awareness programs, community involvement, summer internship programs, and last but not least, one of our most important and favorite programs is our Read and Write to Succeed to Improve Upon Literacy for Young People. Um, our workshop today has a few things that we want to cover, but the goals in essence are pretty simple and laid out. There are five particular goals. Number one is to enhance our partnership that is currently underway um, with the American Democracy Project and our great friend, Dr. Andy George. Um, we thank you so much for everything you've done. I was invited here earlier in the year. I was snowed out. We drove home in the middle of the blizzard if there is such a thing. And uh, we made it safely, but Dr. Jordan saw to it, um, along with your Vice Chancellor and several others, that we came back. So, honored to be here today. Um, number